That was an exclusive for Captain Brian Scrudlin's team back in the mid-90s. Those rats were rampant at the Miami Arena. How you doing, Scurry? Well, uh, if we would have scored, if we would have been the type of team they got on this ice now, could you imagine how many rats people would be having to buy, <laughs> let alone throw? Good to so see you. So we're doing it. great. Yeah, Thank you. doing great. How's been the experience today? You've had a chance to mingle with uh, a lot of the fans, and uh, you saw some familiar faces here today. It was wonderful. It started last night. We had, uh, of course, the guys, their yeah. wives, the kids. Uh, lots of changes in 20 years. Hey? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and so we, we had a riot. It was nice. And then, of course, yeah. uh, just a wonderful day today with uh, with Panther fans alike. Uh, still going on inside the arena as we talk. Well, that was at Margaritaville. And Randy Moeller, you were there. And Randy, I know you enjoyed emceeing the events with the with the Panthers today. Yeah, we had a lot. And there was the uh, executive chairman. Of course, Peter Luco was there. Oh, and there's Victor E. Rat as well. And uh, everybody was, was there. Brian, talk about how close this team continues to be. Even after 20 years, we see John Van Beesbrook and Jason Woolley and yourself and that. Talk about the special bond that this team has carried on over the last 20 years. Well, the one one thing about I, I, I truly believe that was the biggest bond is it started right at the top. It, the, the organization, the uh, Heisinga family, we thank them to to a player from that era. We, we thank the Heisinga family. We thank the, the organization for allowing us to, uh, the times, the coaches, the managers, they allowed us a lot of time and a lot of free space to be able to enjoy Florida. Yet at the same time, they understood as well that we took this very uh, seriously, that we wanted to win and we wanted to win every night. But we knew that we needed to be our best every night as well. You know what's amazing about this team too is you think they were a Stanley Cup champion. There aren't many teams that don't win a Stanley Cup or don't win a championship that are this revered, and that's not a, a knock on the Panthers. That's that's to say how great that moment was for your team. Well, that's that's uh, the message today, I think, Craig, moving forward. Yeah. We want nothing more that the 93, 96, that group wants nothing more than this 2016 group to finally get that over <laughs> the hump. And for the fans of South Florida to win a Stanley Cup, it'd be fabulous. What do you think of the the team right now, the, the way this team has been built as they get set for what could be a long playoff run? This Florida Panther Hockey Club. Well, I'm a I'm a firm believer they've done everything from the back end, which is of course the most important position, that goaltender, and and you don't get any better than Lou, and then you work your way out and done a great job. Young defenseman, old defenseman, the mixture of veterans, the guys who have been there, the guys who have been there to win a Stanley Cup, be able to pass that message on. And then you've got to remember as well, all that youth, most of this youth in this lineup as well, has at some point in time won a Calder Cup, uh, uh, Memorial oh, Cup, yeah. a yeah. World Championship, a gold medal. So they're quite, uh, they're used to, uh, they're used to, the, you know, all of that pressure. So really looking forward to seeing what's going to unfold here in April, May, and June. Well, enjoy the rest of the night. It's great seeing you. You look great who looks the best out of all aside from yourself well you know i would have to say terry karkner i yeah. thought karks and i haven't he's one of those guys that goes oh. mia so i'm <laughs> loving to see him oh it's great it's great having great. all you guys back here and good luck and thanks again i know it's a big thrill for our fans